As a member of the South Pacific Whale Research Consortium, uh, I've been operating a long-term humpback whale research project here in Niue for um, almost 17 years, I think. Um, was invited here to Niue by the Director of Tourism to look at the feasibility of whale watching and uh, develop the first whale watching guidelines or regulations. Um, around that time we had Niue declaring a national whale sanctuary in 2003. So um, I was engaged to write the management plan for Niue's whale sanctuary which included um, objectives for managing whale watching tourism including training the whale watching operators and uh, I've been mentoring and working closely with a number of uh, local people um, to help conserve and manage whales in Niue in the longer term. And uh, one of those is Fia Fia Rex, who um, set up a, a local NGO called Omatapua to treasure the whales in 2006. And uh, since that time, uh, we've been operating the whale research program in partnership with Omatapua. And uh, throughout the time we've been here, we've been operating in partnership with uh, Niue Fisheries. So it's a government, an NGO and university uh, partnered long-term research program. Well, my job here is to add some science to support the NPA designation and the spatial planning in general. And uh, when it comes to spatial planning, there, you need a lot of data, or you need any data. And uh, the trick with adding data on things that are migratory or mo that move a lot um, uh, are that they move. <laughs> if you add, in, if you need information about whales, uh, you need to be able to plan for where the whales go, not just where you see them. Uh, otherwise, that can give you some skewed information. So I brought uh, with me some tools that we can use to uh, understand where whales go uh, when we, we're, not, we're not able to watch them, we're not able to follow them or see where they go. I'm a recent graduate um, of marine geography from Cardiff University. Um, my role primarily involves um, supporting Jake and Olive in the preparation and employment of their equipment and also to help cite the whales and record behavioural and sightings information um, where we record um, the GPS locations of where we sight the whales and their behaviour, their potential responses to the vessel, um, which helps us understand their sight usage and their sight fidelity in the UA. <laughs> oh, Gugateri, oh, it's like coming home. So, Noe is really a second home to me. Been so blessed to be welcomed and hosted with so much care by the local people for a very long time. I feel like um, part of the community here. Thank you.